Okay, greetings everyone. This is First Century 753 with the next episode of Geopolitical Simulator 4, Power and Revolution. Uh, playing as a neoliberal approach to Brazil. Take a look at our economics. It's been a while since I played here, so I don't remember everything. Uh, growth is still negative. Unemployment is down. I think I'm intentionally doing some negative growth here because I want to lower that inflation. The inflation was way too high, but that will also should help reduce poverty, I think, right? If we have if we reduce inflation, then purchasing power will increase. Living below the poverty line. Let's check this out. Starting to dip back down. Yeah, I think this is due to the massive inflation. This is starting to dip back down. So hopefully that's good. Hopefully that works itself out. You know, under taxation, let's see how we're standing here. Um, budget excess of 189 uh, billion. That's a tremendous amount. Debt is only... Is coming to almost break the one trillion mark we're gonna go down below one trillion hopefully soon maybe in this episode if we can and the major goal here again is uh, to get a GDP of 10 trillion dollars that's 2.7 billion right there I think we just recently had some elections uh, all right okay so yeah it's uh, October 15th um, we just had congressional elections, I think, in the last round, right? It was a uh, Liberal Democratic Party. Looks like it cleaned up pretty well. Uh, that was on October 7th. That was about a week ago. Presidential elections will be in about a year. Uh, October 27th, uh, 2019. So that's going to be a big issue for me. i got to win that uh, presidential election. And it looks like we have like World War III breaking out over here, right? This is in, all the way in uh, Europe. I don't know if the Russians got involved in this or not yet. Uh, but Belarus, uh, I forgot what, who they attacked first, but this is a huge conflict. Uh, Belarus is usually in the game uh, pretty... Uh, let's get, get play there. Uh, Belarus usually likes to mix things up early in the game. I think in the Greek uh, series I'm playing right now, Belarus has annexed Latvia. There's something that happened between Belarus and Poland. I think they may have made... Oh, here we go. What is this? Tuesday, uh, the 16th, legislative, the special issue of the news. Um, legislative elections, Felipe uh, Berm's party, that's me, uh, last night. After the announcement of the second round of the results, the population applauded uh, me for the victory of my party, which becomes the National Assembly's majority party with 258 seats out of 513. Uh, that's definitely a majority there, right? I think that's like... We have a majority of, we actually have a majority of, um, the parliament. Am I correct with that? 50%. Fantastic. Fantastic. We can get pretty much anything we want past at this point, so. Belarus and Norway has joined the conflict now. I wonder if I can speed things up here. There we go. I don't want to, sometimes I don't want to speed it up too much if I'm watching a lot of action on the screen. Because that does tend to freeze it. Knock on wood. Hopefully it doesn't. Happiness increase in Brazil. Looking good. Uh, who's this? Meeting with Uruguay. Yes, we will meet with Uruguay. Second goal is to become a South American hegemon. So I think we already have um, a lot of influence. Our infiltrated agent was spotted and murdered. Ugh. The terrorists. The we're not doing well with the terrorists. No, we don't want to do that. I hate when they keep asking me this. If I want to eliminate head of state, I'll go ahead and do it. Don't ask me if I want to eliminate it. So I can't tell who's who because we have good relations with uh, some NATO allies, but not with others. 24 French tanks. The package has been delivered. Very good. Those are pretty advanced uh, French tanks, too. Those are rank 3, I think, right? And I can't tell if the Russians are there. Those look like Russians. I think those are Russian flags right there. Because we actually have good relations with Russia. We have good relations with some NATO countries, but not others. Definitely not the Scandinavian countries. They do not like us. What is the difference? I wonder. Venezuela. We do probably want to eliminate that head of state. That's the one rivalry that I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I think once I win the elections, we'll go ahead and uh, Good morning. I didn't come empty-handed. In fact, I wanted you to see it. make a move against Venezuela. All right, here we have uh, they're offering a deal for cereal. They want a fixed price again. That's a counter to neoliberal approaches. So we're just gonna refuse that. Refusal has been noted. I'll offer you coffee. Sure. Dark and strong, please. That's mild. 
Let's see if Intimidate that he should stop his military operations. Where are their military operations? I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and offer a non-aggression pact. That should maybe settle it. No, no, no non-aggression pact for them. All right, we made, a ch we made an attempt. The war continues here. It's definitely a World War III scenario. Russia versus NATO. I don't think the United States has thrown their hats in the ring yet, but you do have England and Germany and France. Pretty much all the European NATO countries. So we got that going. October still. World War. That's Norway, right? Yeah. Traffic jam. Traffic jam is still a problem here. I guess I can spend some money on infrastructure, right? That would uh, improve uh, commerce. So I think that was along with uh, neoliberal philosophies. But I'm going to continue to cut the debt and. Uh, growth has made a comeback here. Continue to cut the debt. Infl uh, inflation is still going down. Unemployment's going down. GDP is going up. Beautiful. This is beautiful. Uh, I wonder if I can just skip ahead. I mean, usually when I do this, skipping ahead, one thing I don't like about it is you miss certain things. I guess I can eliminate head of state, but it always takes a while to get started. And it never really goes much faster than the full speed, I don't think. Look at this, still on. Oh, there we go. Our infiltrated agent was spotted and murdered. The terrorists discovered that. Still having problems with a lot of terrorist organizations. Chinese mafia, oh man. So, let me see here. Public finances. We're at 202 billion excess. What are they complaining about? Peruvian network, I don't want that. Verdict announced. What is this? This is something that happened that I don't remember. Leonardo dos Santos trial. The verdict has announced. President, Mr. President, the court condemned Leonardo dos Santos and his verdict uh, heavy fine. That's not that bad, I guess. Uh, effects on the popularity. De Santos' popularity have been immediate. Famous satirical humorist takes things with relatively calm philosophy, considering your connections. This, however, is a hard blow to your image. Uh, but I doubt. Uh, I don't doubt that we will manage to overcome this crisis. So, I didn't really take a hit, did I? do not look like it. Doesn't look like popularity took any hit from that trial. No big deal. I think we were building bases up here, weren't we? What is the progress on these military bases? Alright, 111 days has... Oh, there's a statement in the press, negative. What happened there? Recruitment! The national defense does not have enough men to fulfill its mission. Okay, I think I need to spend a little bit of money on recruitment. Uh, here we go here. Let's see real quick. Um, 113 days in progress. Confidential information on Chile. Chilean forces uh, financing the Kurdish uh, re Renaissance terrorists. Not bad. That's good dirt we have on them. Heat wave. Okay, here comes the heat wave. The international community has just mobilized to support victims of the catastrophe. Exceptional donation of 70.1 million. That's pretty good. How the popularity just went up, I don't know. Just our popularity just naturally goes up. So we are looking at about whew, 155, 155 days until uh, the next one. Motorbike and speed. Then, let's not forget that our runner has always publicly supported your policies. And that's good for your image. Beautiful. Got a great uh, victory there. Sporting victory. That's where our popularity went up. Sporting victory was huge. Huge. All right. People, uh, Human Sharing and Solidarity Foundation like us. Syria disaster. Ecuador. Earthquake. I could send aid to Ecuador, maybe. Member of terrorist organization threatened tourists at. I gotta do something about these terrorists. Alright, I'm gonna. I am gonna spend a little bit of money on terrorists. Let's see here. I'm just gonna stop this for a second. Disaster in Brazil. Oh no, what is this? What is that? Flood. Oh boy. It's a big flood. Alright, first. First, we're gonna go into the army. And I know there's people out there want me to keep these numbers kind of even, so. Uh, it's not going to be an even number exactly, we're going to do 135, but we won't have all those zeros, we'll 
you know, accommodate the OCD out there. I like to accommodate uh, people and uh, whatever, you know, issues they have. Uh, so that'll uh, stimulate the military, increase the military by 2.6 billion dollar spending, and that looks pretty good. Uh, we still have a lot of conscripts, and our total number looks pretty high. I'm gonna eventually get rid of those contract conscripts. Um, so we got that, and then the other thing I'm gonna go into is I'm just gonna do Secret Service, and I'm gonna try to I'm gonna spend money on Secret Service here. I'm gonna spend money on terrorism. 1.25 billion, 3 billion for the total, and we've got 20,000 people. Come on, we gotta do. This has gotta work out. So I think I spent about 5.6 billion. Not a ton. We got a 200 billion dollar surplus. So you know, I think that's okay. Um, Brazilian. Let's go ahead and reinfiltrate these groups. Brazilian Indian Alliance. 10 million sympathizers. 110 fighters. We gotta shut them down. Chinese Mafia, 628,000 members, that's a lot of members for our Mafia. Jihadist Caliphate, uh, 1.3 million sympathizers and only 70 fighters here. So more money being spent on fighting terrorism and we're going to go ahead and try to knock out these groups and we increase the size of our military. And that's about what we're going to do. That's about it for now. Okay. So, disaster in Brazil, liberties, pacifism, national defense, anti-terrorism, employment, public finance, all looking good. Here's the disaster, the floods. No, as the uh, damage estimation is in progress there. We'll give all the money we can to the floods. Uh, just like, you know, just like Texas. Uh, Trump did support, uh, or did say that Texas would get all the resources that they need. Federal resources, so... You know, I don't think Trump was a complete neoliberal. Definitely not with the uh, approach to free trade and everything, and uh, his nationalistic approaches, I guess. Uh, but some things are similar. They're definitely both on the right wing, neoliberals and Donald Trump. I'll say that. Okay, government waste. We don't want to deal with this. I hate this whole cabinet bickering stuff. I don't really don't know how to manage that stuff at all. I guess I could investigate people and put them on trial. Smear them, maybe. Never really been into all that stuff. And I really don't know what the benefit of assassinating a head of state is. I mean, the ones that you're enemies with are the ones that you want to go ahead and conquer. And then it's not always worth the risk. Especially with my funding, my Secret Service funding, which I've kept pretty low. We are not funding a lot here. $4.7 billion. It's a pretty big budget. Sizable budget. Social Security is the biggest expense. Then education. Defense. Health. Where is debt reimbursements have really dropped? Back to our taxation. 218 billion. We are now making over a trillion dollars in income. That is fantastic. How's the GDP looking? 2.8 billion. We are growing. We are growing pretty quickly. Faster than that. 0 0.09, I think. I don't know where they're getting that number from. Undoubtedly, you will remain the face of the combat for gender equality in our country. You can count on all of us and on our vote. Good. I need it. I'm gonna need it. Bolivian network, confidential information, Bahrain, Shiite resistance forces. They're supporting, huh? What do we have here? Okay. Water is slowly received, naturally, or pumped in whatever. Some streets are visible again, Mr. President. We congratulate. Uh, ourselves, uh, we can congratulate ourselves on the management of the catastrophe, according to our reports, was exemplary. Very good. Intervention and in supervision forces, largely sufficient, uh, extremely effective, thanks to the policy you set up, we were able to consider lim considerably limit damage and save human lives. Beautiful. That's a beautiful thing. Our infiltrated agent was spotted and murdered. Damn it. Another mafia guy, mother mafia hit on our guys. Can't get past those mafia guys. 
All right, so uh, that seems to be well. Flood seems to be well managed. Ten dead. Eey. No estimation for damage yet. Catastrophe was on the 18th of November. Streets are visible again. That's good. Drought. Two victims in the drought. Uh, Ministerial target in Peru. Let's go ahead and take that. I don't have any estimation on aid there yet. And again, I may send some aid to countries around. This one wants me to cut my salary. Not gonna happen. Uh, countries around Christmas. The preparations are complete. The whole country is preparing to joyfully celebrate this occasion. Christmas in July, or Christmas in well, it's summer, or whatever. Plan for the youth. Our country's youth. We do not have a big plan for the youth. We're not spending a lot of money there. Farmers mobilized with the flooding. Uh, our lands were ravaged by the floods and all harvests underwater. Flocks could not be replaced. Uh, many have been lost. We come to ask for financial aid to the farming industry. Ooh, big fans. Yeah, I want to keep their support. Uh, I got a lot of things going on here. Let me just close this up. Just see what happens. Ah, we're still getting hit on these. Our governmental cell informs me. Paraguay. Target. Let's go after that. Bolivian. Head is, come on. I don't want to see that. Get out of there. Compensation for. All right. This is tricky here. You gotta watch out for this because I've kind of gotten screwed before with the uh, numbers here. You gotta make sure you have the right denomination. And uh, I think it was in the American series where I ended up giving like hundreds of billions of dollars when I only needed to give millions. This is 4.5 billion, and these are in dollars. So, that's dollars, right? That says dollars, doesn't say millions of dollars. That's 450,000. That should be 450 million. 4.5 billion. Alright, that says dollars. You all see that there. So that should be correct. Billion, million, thousand, hundred. I should have that correct. Confirm that. Okay. Uruguay. Ah, oh, look at this. Financing Azerbaijan fighters for democracy. We got dirt on everybody in South America. And, uh, <laughs> we could probably conquer the South American continent and just become the true hegemon. But I'm going to try to do things politically at first. Uh, although I assume people in the channel might want me to do things militarily. After the election, I will invade uh, Venezuela. That is my promise. The election, then invasion. And I probably could build another air base, I guess. Or an army base. The target is going to be Caracas, right? I don't know if there's any... I don't see any... They don't have a lot of bases. We're going to take out that air base immediately, for sure. El Tigre. A lot of their stuff is along the coast. Oh, more air bases there. A lot of defenses in the west that won't do them any good. That's uh, Trinidad and Tobago. Grenada. What if we can forge an alliance with Grenada? Get a nice Hillsboro. Get a nice, um. How do I do this? Ah. Give aid. Give aid? They're not an independent country, are they? They're part of England. Okay. Grenada's part of England. Okay. I thought they were independent. Oh, we're not even moving here. Let's go. Sorry about that. More events. Anything? Nothing. Something. The population affected by the disaster is in a very precarious right, I already situation. did this. So I'm not going to do it again. I don't like I hate when they do that. It's like a double uh The national defense does not have enough men. To build really? I just hired 6,000 new men. How many more men do you want? They haven't hired everybody yet. We're still training. Heat wave, public finances, 
Okay, international uh, community has just mobilized the support of the victims of the catastrophe. Exceptional, 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 ah, an exceptional donation of seventy million dollars. Moving on. More confidential information on Chile. They are busy, these Ch Chileans, huh? Sudan Democratic Liberation Front. What do we got down here? Happiness increase in Brazil, of course. Why not? Everybody's happy in my country. Everyone loves me. Things are going very well here. Taxation. Oh my god, 226 billion. We're going to have no debt. This is going to, at the end of this quarter, which I think I'm going to try to get to before the end of the episode, bargain concluded with Minister of Environment for Peru. Very good. We got them in our pockets. All right, I'm going to try to get to the end of the quarter here and through Christmas and through the new year uh, before the end of the episode. Oh, come on. What is that? It's happiness goes up and goes down. You know, I never... Infiltrating key center. Yes. According to my calculations, the informational gain, in geopolitical terms, could be close to 2.73 on Saks graphic. Our agent also allows us to anticipate and therefore counterattack their terrorist projects. Beautiful. You can decide to dismantle this organization, but the more an agent remains infiltrated, the more information can be obtained, and the more effective a future dismantling could be. Oh, I don't know what to do. Do you wish to carry out the dismantling attempts now? Yeah, I do. Before they get assassinated. They had 620-some thousand members, I think, of the Chinese Mafia, so see what we can, see how many we can take down in this uh, raid we're about to do on the Mafia. Okay, Venezuelan target minister. That's good. I think we already have information on them, but let's go ahead and hit this guy. Or snag that guy. 20, 229 billion. This is gonna be fantastic. We're gonna go, we're gonna go, we're gonna break, break the one trillion mark here in our debt. We're gonna go below one trillion for sure. Poland, uh, Belarus. I think that is the original conflict, right? And all these countries are still at war with Belarus. No USA. USA has not joined. And we are at Christmas here, Christmas Day. It's going to be a Tuesday next year. Mark that on your calendars. And here we go. Religious appearance. Always good. Would give us a bump, but we don't need a bump because we're at 100%. Popularity looks fantastic. I think I have most of the organizations with me, or the big ones at least. Ecuador target, and they are not aligned with us here. Alright, so that's something we have to. Maybe we would assassinate them. It's true that the blow cannot really be described Damn, as I should have waited. Two arrests. That's a bummer. Our governmental cell Chilean target. We're pretty active. I guess I could assassinate this guy. Uh, who's this? Sunni. Uh, let's see. Socialists. Yeah, we might want to assassinate them too. Three hundred and seventy seven million dollars for the floods. Beautiful. Compensation for catastrophe. Okay, alright, look look what they did. They switched it. Alright, see this is where they, they they screw you up here. Alright, it is no longer nominations of dollars, it is millions of dollars. So they will switch it up on you. Which will really screw things up. So, I need four point five three billion. Since it's in millions, I am just going to do four, five, three, zero. Okay, so that's four thousand five hundred and thirty million dollars. All right, so that equals four point five billion dollars. Oh, let's see here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait a minute. I didn't read the whole thing either. Okay. Uh, so far, you have assigned victims of the catastrophe three point one eight billion out of the four point five three. Now I don't know how that happened. How much do you wish? How much more do you wish to give? All right, I gotta readjust this again. So I can't do math in my head. Um, I'm just gonna make it like an even number. It's eight. No, 0 0.8 plus 0.53. That would be 0.82 plus 0.453. So that's 0 0.1, 0.35. Right? Did I do that right in my head? You guys will probably be laughing at me if I did it wrong. Uh. And it's early Saturday morning, so I'm not thinking. Is that right? I think it's right. Confirm. That should be correct. Let's see what happens. 
Look at that. 2.9 billion. Huge. Huge. Unhealthy housing. We should cut taxes on property taxes, I think. One of my men succeeded in infiltrating. Yes, or we can uh, exempt the uh, building and construction industry. I think that might be the best approach. We appreciate the 4.12 billion that you compensated. I think I'm short. Nevertheless, we still need 411 million. All right, did I not, did I not do that right? Bargain concluded. All right, this is Ecuador, Minister of Information. That's always a good guy to have. Argentinian network. Uh, Egyptian forces for pure Islam. A lot of stuff coming in here. Let's pause this for a second. Look at that, another minister target. Cell informs me that it has had the wow, so much stuff. Armed forces are with Your me. Politics are on the right. Good. I don't want to deal with this cabinet nonsense. And uh, Minister of Culture for Paraguay, that's with me as well. And love, life. Love of life. People seem very happy, but only in comparison to the rest of the world. Uh, the results of these latest uh, rankings in regard to happiness, namely gross national happiness. Now you can and always improve the things for your children, etc., etc. We are in January. I have to see all these things that are going on. It's true that the blue can Ah, uh, still just a partial two arrest deal there. And what do we have here? Surplus of 8.3. Total public debt engagement in terms of state of the loan rises. No, that falls to 915 billion. Oh my god. That is a huge drop. Huge. Here's our growth forecast for the end of the year based on calculations that we made last month. This is a very good figure. Very good figure. Employment has dropped. From 5% to 2%. Wow. Those are fantastic numbers. 2.9. Look at that growth. Look at the employment. This is fantastic. And then the big number here, the debt. Oh, man, look at that debt. Budget excess dropped to uh, 47. Wow, how did that happen? How did that happen? We still have a ton of income. Must be the expenses that were increased. All right, that's crazy. All right, we'll just sit, we'll just sit tight for now, I think. And I think this might be a good place to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, neoliberal policies seem to be effective um, so far, and we are closing in on three trillion, three trillion mark. And uh, so far, things are looking pretty good. Uh, thanks for watching again. Uh, sorry, I haven't been posting as much lately. Uh, with school year starting, it's going to be rough. So you know. YouTube revenues aren't as high as they used to be. Uh, if you'd like to support my channel, you can do so on Patreon or uh, through some affiliated marketing down below. I think a couple of people did buy a few things that helped me out, got me a couple bucks, so I appreciate it. And uh, the more money I can earn off this, the more time I will commit to producing more videos. So uh, if you want to see more, feel free to contribute. Again, if anyone contributes to, first person to contribute on Patreon gets to decide the next geopolitical simulator series which I've had a lot of requests but the first person to contribute will give me will initiate a new series thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you guys in the next episode